Grok 4. This is the latest artificial intelligence system. And let me be very, very clear. Scientists are freaking out over a weird space object heading our way. 3i Atlas isn't your average comet. This interstellar visitor is doing things astronomers can't explain. While normal comets have tails pointing away from the sun, this rebel's tail points toward it, defying physics as we know it. Even stranger, tiny unexplained forces are nudging its path in ways that have top scientists divided. Some think it's just a bizarre space rock, but others wonder if we're witnessing our first contact with alien technology. Is this just a quirky comet, or did somebody send it? What will we discover when it gets closer in 2026? The discovery of interstellar visitors. Space has always been full of surprises, but nothing prepared astronomers for what they would find in recent years. For most of human history, we only knew about objects that belonged to our solar system. Comets, asteroids, and planets all followed predictable paths around our sun. But then something completely different showed up, and it changed everything we thought we knew about our cosmic neighborhood. The first visitor from another star system was discovered in 2017. Scientists named it Oumuamua, which means scout in Hawaiian. This strange object was unlike anything we had ever seen before. It was shaped like a cigar, spinning through space at incredible speeds, and most importantly, it was just passing through. This was not one of our regular solar system residents. It came from somewhere else entirely, traveled through our space, and then continued on its journey to who knows where. After Oumuamua, astronomers started looking more carefully for these interstellar travelers. They realized that if one had visited us, there were probably more out there. Their patience paid off when they discovered two Iborisov in 2019. This second visitor looked more like a traditional comet with a bright tail and all the features we expected from these icy space rocks. But just like its predecessor, 2E Borisov was also just passing through from another star system. Then came 3I Atlas. And this is where things get really interesting. Discovered more recently, this third interstellar visitor has been causing quite a stir in the scientific community. Unlike the previous two, 3I Atlas is displaying behavior that has astronomers scratching their heads and debating what could possibly be causing its strange movements through space. The discovery of these interstellar objects has opened up an entirely new field of astronomy, showing us that space between the stars is filled with wandering objects from distant stellar neighborhoods. What makes 3i Atlas so strange? When astronomers first spotted 3i Atlas, they expected it to behave like a normal comet. After all, most objects that come from the outer reaches of space are made of ice and rock, and they usually start glowing and developing tails as they get closer to the sun. The heat from our star causes the ice to turn into gas, creating those beautiful streaming tails that we associate with comets. But 3i Atlas decided to break the rules right from the start. Instead of following the typical comet playbook, this object began showing signs of activity much earlier than expected. Most comets wait until they get relatively close to the sun before they start releasing gas and dust. 3i Atlas started showing these signs when it was still incredibly far away, much farther than where normal comets would begin their show. The really weird part is what happened with its tail. When comets heat up, they usually blow material away from the sun, creating tails that always point away from our star. This happens because the solar wind, which is basically a stream of particles flowing out from the sun, pushes the comet material in the opposite direction. It is such a reliable pattern that astronomers use it to determine which direction the sun is located just by looking at a comet's tail. 3i Atlas completely ignored this rule. Instead of creating a tail that pointed away from the sun, it developed what scientists call an anti-solar tail. This means the tail was pointing toward the sun, which should be impossible according to everything we know about how comets work. Imagine trying to blow dust away from a fan, but instead of the dust flying away, it somehow gets sucked toward the fan. That is essentially what 3i Atlas appeared to be doing. This anti-solar behavior lasted for weeks, giving astronomers plenty of time to study it and confirm that they were not seeing things. 
multiple telescopes around the world observed the same phenomenon. The object was definitely pushing material toward the sun instead of away from it, and nobody could figure out why. The mystery of anti-solar behavior. The anti-solar tail of 3i Atlas became one of the most puzzling observations in recent astronomy. Scientists had to come up with explanations for behavior that seemed to defy the basic laws of physics. How could an object push material toward the sun when everything we know about solar radiation pressure says it should do the opposite? Several theories emerged to explain this strange behavior. The first and most conventional explanation involved the idea that 3i Atlas might have unusual composition or structure. Perhaps it was made of materials that behave differently when heated by the sun. Maybe it had pockets of gas trapped inside that were being released in unexpected directions when the object warmed up. Another possibility was that the object was rotating in a way that created jets of material pointing in unusual directions. Comets often have areas on their surface that are more active than others. If 3i Atlas was spinning and had active regions positioned just right, it might be able to create the illusion of an anti-solar tail even while most of its material was actually being blown away from the sun, as expected. Some scientists suggested that what observers were seeing might not be a traditional tail at all. Instead, it could be material that was being released from the object and then getting caught in complex gravitational interactions. Space is not empty, and objects moving through it can create complicated patterns of gas and dust that might look like tails pointing in impossible directions. The anti-solar tail phenomenon raised important questions about how well we understand the behavior of objects in space. If something as basic as the direction of a comet's tail could surprise us, what else might we be missing about these interstellar visitors? The observation forced astronomers to reconsider some of their basic assumptions about how objects behave when they encounter the intense radiation and gravitational forces near the sun. How tiny forces can change everything. One of the most fascinating aspects of 3i Atlas involves understanding how incredibly small forces can have enormous effects over the vast distances and long time periods involved in space travel. When we think about moving objects on Earth, we usually need to apply significant force to change their direction or speed. But in space, where there is no air resistance and objects can travel for millions of years without interference, even the tiniest push can completely alter a trajectory. Consider what happens when an object experiences an acceleration of just 0.02 millimeters per second squared. On Earth, this would be barely noticeable. You would not feel such a small force if it was applied to you, and it would take an extremely sensitive instrument to even detect it. But in space, over a period of 50 days, this tiny acceleration can change an object's speed by about 86 meters per second. That might not sound like much, but over the distances that interstellar objects travel, it can mean the difference between missing Earth entirely and heading straight for our planet. This principle explains why astronomers pay such close attention to even the smallest deviations in the paths of objects like 3i Atlas. A force that seems insignificant by everyday standards can accumulate over time and distance to produce dramatic changes in trajectory. It is similar to how a small error in navigation can cause a ship to end up hundreds of miles from its intended destination after crossing an ocean. The challenge for scientists is identifying what causes these tiny forces. In the case of 3i Atlas, several possibilities exist. Outgassing from the surface as the object heats up can create small but persistent thrust similar to how a balloon flies around a room when you let the air out. Radiation pressure from the sun can also push on objects, especially if they have unusual shapes or surface properties that make them more susceptible to this effect. Understanding these tiny forces is crucial for predicting where objects like 3i Atlas will go and whether they pose any potential threat to Earth. It also helps scientists distinguish between natural phenomena and anything that might be artificial or unusual about these interstellar visitors. 
The artificial intelligence debate, the strange behavior of 3i Atlas, has sparked one of the most intriguing debates in modern astronomy. While most scientists lean toward natural explanations for the object's unusual characteristics, a small but vocal group of researchers has suggested that we might be looking at something artificial. This possibility, while remote, has captured the imagination of both scientists and the general public. The artificial hypothesis gained attention when prominent astronomer Avi Loeb began pointing out anomalies that seemed difficult to explain through conventional comet behavior. Loeb argued that the acceleration patterns observed in 3i Atlas, combined with its unusual anti-solar tail, might indicate that the object was not entirely natural. He suggested that it could potentially be some form of technology, perhaps a probe or even debris from an advanced civilization. The idea of artificial objects traveling between star systems is not as far-fetched as it might initially seem. Human civilization has already sent several probes beyond our solar system, including Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. If our relatively young technological civilization can do this, it stands to reason that older, more advanced civilizations might have been sending objects between stars for millions or even billions of years. Loeb and others have pointed out that distinguishing between natural and artificial objects at interstellar distances is extremely difficult. An artificial probe designed to study star systems might be built to look and behave, much like a natural comet or asteroid to avoid detection. Alternatively, it might use propulsion systems that we do not understand or recognize, making its movements appear anomalous to our current scientific knowledge. However, the vast majority of scientists remain skeptical of artificial explanations. They argue that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and so far, all of the observed phenomena can be explained, even if with some difficulty, through natural processes. The scientific community generally prefers to exhaust all possible natural explanations before considering artificial ones. Comparing interstellar objects, the discovery of multiple interstellar visitors has given astronomers the opportunity to compare these objects and look for patterns or differences that might tell us something about their origins and the star systems they came from. Each of the known interstellar objects has shown unique characteristics that have contributed to our understanding of what exists in the space between stars. Oumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar visitor, was notable for its extremely elongated shape and unusual acceleration as it moved away from the sun. Scientists estimated that it was shaped like a cigar or needle, being about 10 times longer than it was wide. This unusual shape, combined with its tumbling motion and reflective surface, suggested that it might be made of relatively dense, rocky material rather than the ice and dust that make up most comets. 2. E. Borisov, the second interstellar visitor, was much more familiar to astronomers. It behaved like a traditional comet, developing a bright coma and tail as it approached the sun. Its composition appeared similar to comets from our own solar system, suggesting that the processes that form comets might be universal across different star systems. This gave scientists confidence that their understanding of comet behavior applied to objects from other parts of the galaxy. 3i Atlas represents something of a middle ground between these two extremes. Like 2i Borisov, it shows clear signs of cometary activity, releasing gas and dust as it heats up. But like Oumuamua, it displays behavior that does not fit perfectly with standard comet model. The anti-solar tail and unusual acceleration patterns make it unique among all the objects astronomers have studied. Recent discoveries of additional objects, including C2025 R2 Swan, have continued to expand our catalogue of interstellar visitors. Each new discovery provides another data point for understanding the population of objects travelling between stars and the processes that sent them on their interstellar journeys. The technology 
behind detection. Finding and studying objects like 3i Atlas requires some of the most advanced technology available to modern astronomy. These interstellar visitors are typically small, dark, and moving at high speeds through space, making them extremely difficult to detect and track. The technology and techniques used to discover and study them represent decades of advancement in astronomical observation and data analysis. The initial detection of interstellar objects often comes from automated sky surveys that continuously monitor large portions of the sky looking for anything that moves or changes. Projects like the Catalina Sky Survey and the Lincoln Near Earth Asteroid Research Program use powerful telescopes equipped with sensitive cameras to take pictures of the same areas of sky night after night. Computer programs then compare these images to identify objects that have moved between observations. Space-based observatories play a crucial role in studying interstellar objects. Telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, known as SOHO, can observe objects without interference from Earth's atmosphere. SOHO has been particularly valuable for tracking comets as they approach the Sun, providing detailed images of their behavior during the most active phases of their journeys. The SWAN instrument on SOHO has captured images of numerous comets over the years, contributing valuable data about how these objects behave when they get close to our star. New detection systems are constantly being developed to find more interstellar objects. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, which will begin operations soon, is expected to dramatically increase the rate of discovery. Its extremely wide field of view and sensitive camera will allow it to detect much fainter and more distant objects than current surveys can find. What happens next in 2026? The year 2026 represents a crucial time for understanding 3i Atlas and resolving many of the mysteries surrounding this unusual interstellar visitor. As the object continues its journey through our solar system, it will reach its closest approach to the Sun, providing astronomers with their best opportunity to study its behavior in detail and potentially answer the questions that have been puzzling scientists since its discovery. During its closest approach, 3i Atlas will be much brighter and more active than it has been during previous observations. The increased heat from the Sun will cause more gas and dust to be released from its surface, creating a larger and more visible coma and tail. This enhanced activity will make it easier for telescopes to study the object's composition and behavior, potentially revealing the secrets behind its anti-solar tail and unusual acceleration patterns. Astronomers are planning an intensive observation campaign for 2026, coordinating telescopes around the world and in space to monitor three I Atlas continuously during its most active period. Advanced spectroscopic observations planned for 2026 will allow scientists to identify the specific chemicals and compounds present in the gas and dust being released by 3II Atlas. This information will provide crucial clues about where the object formed and what conditions existed in its original star system. The increased brightness of 3I Atlas during its 2026 approach will also make it possible to study its physical structure in greater detail. High-resolution imaging may reveal whether the object has an unusual shape or surface features that could explain its strange behavior. The observations planned for 2026 will also contribute to our broader understanding of interstellar objects and the space between stars, adding valuable knowledge about how objects form in other star systems and what happens during their long journeys through interstellar space. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.